princesses and princes when he pays attention to them. Ability, uncanny ability, to work day in, day out, and sometimes very tedious tasks, to always represent the person that in this city hall was not represented for years. And that's the elderly, the working poor, the single women, the kids. Without any, without any further ado, let me introduce Mayor Bernard Sanders. Have the people vote overwhelmingly 
for a tax to fund education in the city of Burlington, which is not based on the regressive property tax, and you take it down to Montpelier, and the governor and the majority of the people in the legislature say, oh no, you can't do that in Burlington. We want you dependent on the property tax, no matter how many people in the city of Burlington vote otherwise. It hurts, and it knocks you down a little bit, and it makes it hard to get out in the next morning to come back and continue to work. But we are going to continue. And it's imperative that we continue. Because I think the main point that I want to make to you tonight is that what is important is not just that we repave the streets and sidewalks, which is very important. It's not just that we plant the trees. It's not just that we run the landfill in a safe and environmentally sound way. It's not just that we give women an opportunity in the trades, that we wipe out discrimination in housing, that we go forth in a way that no other city in this country is going forth with the land trust to provide perpetual affordable housing to people. It's not just that we are doing all of those things. That's very important. But there's something actually that's far more important, and that is this. In my very, very sincere view, if this planet is going to survive, if we're going to be putting an end to the insanity of priorities, which is now spending $300 billion a year in military expenditures in the United States, $800 billion worldwide, while people starve all around the world, while in the state of Vermont today, in the city of Burlington, we're looking at gigantic cuts. We are losing revenue share. We're going to be dealt a blow with grand budget. We have other cuts coming down while they're spending more and more for weapons of destruction. What the progressive movement in this city means, in my view, is not just that we deal with all of the day-to-day -day issues that have got to be dealt with and that I'm proud that we have dealt with so well, but it's something more than that. We have got to retain and make certain that a dream and a vision for a decent society remains alive. We have got to be the vehicles where all decent people can come forward and can say, there is something wrong in this world where some people have billions of dollars and other people have nothing. There's something wrong in the world when the United States is spending tremendous sums of money to destroy the people of Nicaragua but doesn't have enough money to provide decently for homeless individuals. Local government and progressive government for us means the opportunity for people to come forward to express what's in their heart, to maintain the vision the all-important vision that someday we can live in a humane, decent society. That's what we're fighting to keep alive in the city of Burlington today. A vision and a dream. If we lose that, where is that dream going to be represented? Who is going to be speaking out for people who need someone to speak out for them? Who's going to be speaking out against the war and the sexism? Who is going to be bringing together the poor and the working people and the elderly that doesn't have that representation? It is absolutely imperative for all of us and for thousands of people, not only in our city, but in this state, that the dream of what we are doing here remain alive and grow, that we show that we can bring new people into the movement, that we can expand the movement. Today, in this country, I do not have to tell you that many good people are tired and they're depressed. They're depressed about turning on the television and seeing advertisements from the military who say to the kids of the country, be all that you can be, go out and kill somebody. Right. And we're tired of getting our heads knocked against the wall as they cut programs. Yesterday we met right in this room with people working in the various nonprofits who are going to be decimated by grand Rudman and the laws of federal revenue. We get tired. And we get tired about seeing the lies regarding Nicaragua. But what we have got to understand is that we are not alone. That all over this country and all over this world, people, very, very decent people, are fighting for the same kind of vision that we believe in our heart. So I think that, as Gary DiCarlo said earlier, I think tonight is a night for reawakening, to go out into the streets and to say the progressive movement in Burlington is vital, it is important, it must grow, and that this march, we will win. Thank you.